My name is Tomas Plivelik. I'm a project coordinator for the COSACS Beamline. This project Beamline has started in 2014 and they was planned to be a state-of-the-art scattering beamline, the first at the lab to cover soft matter science, structural biology and also to explore the coherent properties of uh, our new machine. From uh, last user meeting, uh, we have the first light in all our components. We also perform our first axe experiments. Results are, are, are very promising. We are still working uh, on data collection routines and, and pipelines, but uh, the user's activities uh, could start uh, very soon. In February of this year, we have our first uh, friendly user call. Uh, this has been extremely successful with 16 proposals approved to be performed from 2020 to 2022 and that will give us the possibility to do not only the basic of SACS but also to see the highest standards that we want to achieve uh, with the project. In the next week the first uh, external uh, user call uh, will be open. This is, is uh, with limited uh, capacities. This is what we call the basic operation of the beamline for uh, solution and solid sacs and also for uh, structural biology studies. This will be limited but still extremely relevant for us to, to know the, the status of, of the beamline. On, on this time and after uh, let's see six years of uh, working on, at the beamline I want to, to acknowledge uh, the effort of many many people uh, starting from the founding agents like VR uh, but also the Max4 organization from support groups and management and, and for sure uh, my uh, colleagues at the team. With, without them, we, we could not be here and, and now uh, soon be ready for, for the users. We are at the optical hatch of the COSACS beamline. Uh, here is the place where we condition the beam for our experiments. Uh, we have mainly uh, our monochromator to work in the range of the hard X-rays for 4 to 20 kBs. And then uh, we have uh, monochromators, uh, chambers with two mirrors in each of them. Uh, and that gives us the possibility to focus our beam at the sample and at the detector up to 15 meters. Uh, our uh, beams are uh, extremely uh, powerful. We are approximately getting 10 to 13 photons uh, by second. Uh, there is also a large fraction of coherent uh, uh, photons here. To, to work with, uh, and beam dimensions can go from 100 microns to up to 10 or 20 microns. All the, the, the optical components that we have here uh, has been designed in-house uh, with the contribution of uh, different groups. They are specially customized uh, components and specially customized for our experiment. This part of the project took approximately two years to be done from design to production and installation. Hello, my name is Vahid. I'm a research engineer at COSAX Beamline at uh, MAX4. Here we have a vacuum vessel and the full length of the vacuum vessel is 17 meters. And uh, we have a sax detector in vacuum. For the sax detector, we have three different uh, axes. We are able to move up and down, left and right, about half a meter. And uh, during the experiment, we can uh, get close to the sample position about half meter and go away from the sample position about 14 meters. My name is Oscar, and I'm working as a postdoc at the COSAX Beamline. In particular, I'm involved with the installation and commissioning of a setup for time resolved small angle X ray scattering. In this setup, we want to use an infrared laser pulse to trigger a structural change in the sample by a rapid temperature increase. A short time after the laser pulse, we probe the sample with x-rays. This will tell us about the structural changes that happen in the sample. Time resolved SACs can be used to study a wide range of different processes, including protein unfolding and folding, phase transition in lipids and fats, protein structural dynamics, and vesicle fusion. Here we are in the COSAX experimental hutch. On this table, we will have the laser setup. Using lenses and mirrors, the laser beam will be guided from the optical table and focus onto the sample, which is in this temperature controlled flow cell. Thanks to the high X-ray flux at COSAX, we'll be able to study processes with a time resolution of micro to milliseconds. But given the right conditions, we can in principle go down to a time resolution of about 100 nanoseconds. 
The timer salt setup will be commissioned during 2021 and should become available to general users after that. For more information and contact details, check out the Max4 website. Welcome to COSACS.